This is the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi X-T9 AX7800 router, and today we're talking about it. Welcome back to another episode of Nikos Goes Down the Rabbit Hole of routers today. And yes, we're talking about this ASUS Zen Wi-Fi X-T9, the AX7800. ASUS was really nice to send these out to me to test them out and uh, put my opinions in, which is great. Reach out to them to get the help that we need to answer questions. And they did send out the GT6, the Rogue. So I will leave the link below on that one too. And of course, I'll leave the link to all the other videos, which is why they sent these routers. They liked the reviews I did and they thought they were beneficial. And here we are. Now, I do have to read a disclaimer. And this disclaimer is based on the new technology, the UN24 Spectrum. This is ASUS Zen Wi-Fi X-T9 supports an expanded Uni24 Spectrum as a default mesh backhaul, which features a third and clean 160 megahertz channel on the five gigahertz band, increasing the mesh backhaul capacity to deliver reliable and high performance for your wireless devices. And the disclaimer is that this won't work everywhere. It will work in a lot of places, but you have to check your area because your country or your region may not allow this kind of uh, radio frequency due to whatever reason. So um, yeah, before you buy, check it out. Now, that being said, have I entertained myself with this router? And uh, yeah, I have. And I think uh, overall, it is a good router. It is doing a lot of the stuff that they're saying it should be doing. And I'm really enjoying the overall use case scenario of this. You get two units. One of them is set up right here right now. And I'm currently having that set up as the connection to the modem. And then this would be your node. You take this node and you set it further away. We're still connected to the main router and you create this thing called an AI mesh, which is awesome, which is this technology, which is a more of a backhaul connection where it is directly linked and you're getting more speed through. Does it work? Yes, it does. I've ha I found myself using it uh, and being able to transfer speeds, albeit not steady, but transfer speeds really fast, being able to edit off my NAS in different locations uh, in the uh, different dwellings I've been in. So when I'm testing these out, I'm looking at it and going, where am I going to store this? And usually you want to uh, connect them uh, close to three feet and then go move it further away. And I got this out like literally about 20 feet away um, in the first floor of this building uh, in this office. And uh, it was able to connect to the speeds around 70 to 80 percent of the speed of the main router which is amazing because if you're thinking about gigabit speeds and you're going hey i'm still getting 700 megabits per second i can still edit and do all the stuff i want to do on the network which is amazing if you're talking about 1.5 or 2 gigabit speed again amazing now from a perspective of distance each unit yes it does do that extended distance that they talk about i'm getting about 15 uh, 10 to 15 percent uh, distance to uh, when I'm walking away from the router and still keeping that speed. And that is uh, comparison to the AX86U or the AX88U. I don't have the 82U anymore. I'll leave those videos links below, of course, and you can check those out. And then you compare the different style of routers based on your dwelling, what you would want to be doing. Again, this is where we look at this and we say, how fast are these routers? Well, they can get you to the promised land with 1.5, 2 gigabit speed, and they can handle everything. Now, do I wish this had more RAM and, uh, or each unit had more RAM and each unit had a uh, faster CPU? Yes, because when I'm doing the data transfers, that's what I'm finding where the issue uh, is comparison to the AX86U that just streamlines. Now, that being said, again, because I got to repeat that, um, you're like, I could be on the node on the next floor and still transfer. So am I going to complain that much of ups and downs, it, especially if they're not like, you know, just consistent? Um, no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm being able to do my work, not in one location close to the router, where before with the AX86U, I still have to be within that 10 to 15 feet. Now I can go be close to the other node and we're good to go. So when we're looking at distance overall, they do advertise this for big houses. Um, say a 4,500 square foot home, you're not going to get 5G coverage everywhere. You're going to get 2.4 everywhere, but you're not going to get 5G. It's going to be within 20 feet. So when I'm describing the situation or the scenario, I should say, where this is downstairs on a different level of this office, 
and it's connected and it's transferring at those massive speeds. We're talking about the radius where I walk to the other side of this router up to 15 to 20 feet, and I'm still getting that super fast connection as it's linked to this main router. And now I can use my NAS as connected to this router. So we're able to now be a little bit further out and have that speed. But I mean, you're not going to get that top speed. And at that, when you move further out, you're going to have to go on your 2.4 gigahertz network because that's going to be where you actually have uh, fast internet. Something that is to note on the 5G network, it's it's been great. It, like I've, I've seen some situations where it drops uh, from a perspective of speed, but I haven't seen these like drop, drop. They haven't, I haven't had the internet go down. On the 2.4 gigahertz network, this is a Samsung Ultra uh, eight, uh, 22. It's been great. I haven't had issues with my 80 AX 86U, but with the Asus XT9 and the uh, GT6, it's not going fast enough for me uh, when you're on that 2.4. I saw this then with my new laptop. I couldn't do anything to tweak it enough to get what I needed. However, the distance covers a lot more, and I'm really happy with the distance. I could be across the street from uh, this unit about you know, 25, 30 feet, and I'm still connected, and I'm still getting some internet, which is awesome and it's phenomenal so that means in a dwelling like my home i've connected these and i could be outside in the backyard and i can go out about 15 feet and i'm still connected to the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, gigahertz network on the front side same thing so i am getting that distance even though it's not fast internet and it's dropping from 120 down to maybe 20 megabits per second i'm still getting some speed which is awesome because you're sitting outside and you're kind of like hey i want to be able to uh be on the internet and not have to have any situations because in the one dwelling we have it's like there's your your uh, 5g is gone your 4g is gone in your phone you got one line and you're you're crying to the bank so this is something that we want to look at and we want to ask ourselves hey what is the best opportunity overall now when, when, when you're looking at anything that you want to be purchasing so this is the website for the zen wi-fi they advertise it for a family for a work environment and in comparison with the uh idea of uh, how you would be um, using the uh, Asus GT6, which is a gamer. And here's where they talk about expanding your Wi-Fi coverage. And you can see they have a lot of different nodes that are connecting in here. And when they claim like up to 500 square uh, feet, like you're not going to get that 5G network. Like that's, and that's what we're uh, looking at. Now the range of 38% increase, I mean, depending on your dwelling, what your dwelling's made out of, uh, that will make a lot of difference. I didn't see that. I'm about 15 to you know, 10 to 15%. Uh, they do have this easy app control, which I got to agree. A lot of the stuff that you try to do here is uh, beneficial and good to go uh, with the user experience. That being said, I didn't find it the most. And I mean, I guess they're working on it because things are connecting better. Uh, the big issues that I had, you connect this. And I saw uh, like, you know, the reviews of the GT6. And I saw I was trying to figure out why these weren't working. This is working better now in the last firmware update. So I'm expecting it to get even better by the time I release the next uh, video with the testing and the speeds and those is not of what I'm doing. But uh, it wouldn't switch over properly. You have to really tweak it. You have to go into your professional settings and then go in there and tweak when something is going to switch over. You got to play with that based on your dwelling, based on how distance you put everything up. And then you got to make sure you monitor it, that you're switching over. I've seen some people complain that, you know, the Wi-Fi wasn't strong enough for their main computer desktop uh, and they had to plug in with their uh, wired connection. Then it worked. But it's like I, I had that situation. My actual computer here was connecting downstairs to the node for some reason. And I was like, why is it so slow? And I started to cry because it was like the 15th test. And yeah, there we are. So then I was like, okay, how are we going to fix this? And the scenario just goes like these units are really strong. They're powerful. They're good. But you're going to walk away. I'm going to walk downstairs. It should switch when I get into a place where uh, the signal is better there and I'm going to get more speed. It should switch over. And when I come back here, it should switch back. And it doesn't. Or it delays or I have to reset it or, 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 and you're like, why am I dealing with this? That, that kind of plug and play, it's not plug and play for me. I'm kind of like, I have to test everything out based on what I have. And I can only imagine if I have like, you know, a whole bunch of kids running around going, oh, it's not working. 
can only imagine. Um, and, and that's where you look at this and you go, okay, what's the idea behind the different types of reviews you're getting here from different people and uh, the different levels? And, you know, you, you, it's a user case experience. And, and that's where we're looking at and saying, okay, what do we want to really see in, in these kind of routers? And that's user experience. Now, they're advertising this. Uh, Asus store pricing at 239. There's a little bit of a hey, restore prices, blah blah blah. So we go over to Best Buy, and these are going uh, here in Canada for 519. Um, and you know, you you look at that and you go, all right, that's a uh, that's a little little pricey, you know, a little pricey. And let's just uh, go over to uh, maybe Asus uh, product offering and the. United States and you know they're about 435 so is that a fair deal for this kind of a product and 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 that's where you look at it and you go okay w what kind of a deal are you getting in comparison to other routers out there and and how does that fit the narrative for you now in the back end system you 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 have your basic setup with these it's not like the rogue gaming system where you see that up in price for those where here you have an ai mesh you have an ai protection you have the parental controls so you can set up your ai mesh here you can set as many as you want it tells you exactly what you need to do and you know the security like i had to set up at my mom's house to see if it would go down and yeah uh like in my other video we taught my mom how to use the phone and yes like a child, she clicks on everything, including the ones that say this is a virus. Uh, and, and this is stopping them, which is great. I turned it on here right now because I had it on back home. And, uh, you, you know, and it tells you exactly what uh, device is causing the issue. Here is your QoS setup if you have a lot of people in the home. Uh, one question I always get asked from people is like, should I turn it on? And the reality is, yeah, how many people are in your network? Do you really need that? That's it. That's all you got to think about. And if you don't have a lot of people, then you don't need to turn it on. If you're doing just gaming, then you don't need to. But if you do have a lot of people, you should change that. This is my uh, one address, 100, uh, 1,916 down and 54 up because uh, I'm on Rogers and we can't get faster speed there. And, uh, you know, I'm, get, I'm, I'm not paying for 1916, but because of how the modem is set up for Rogers, it's allowing me to download at these incredible speeds. However, I'm not getting the full utilization as of now. You're, uh, and you can see the jitter and the ping there. Um, when I compare it here at the office, there's a lot of people actually using it. And you can see here 198 and 202. And this is um, average. You know, and, and that's something that I'm really impressed with. And you go, uh, all right, from from a price point, you're not going to go and get uh, exactly everything that you need for 435. You know, uh, when you're looking at it from a gaming perspective that uh, a lot of people are looking at and going, hey, I want to get this because it's a gaming. So here's a, another one from for 449 here at Walmart. And the question goes, who's this for? Because the gaming one, kind of like the same unit. And I look at this and I go, do I really need this? Do I really need colors? Check out that video below, of course. But I don't really need colors. Personal opinion. I don't really need colors. I don't really care. I just want it to work. And you're saving a whole bunch of money, like a couple hundred bucks there. And you're going, hey, can I just use this and get the speeds I need? And from my preliminary testing, uh, especially since the last round of... Um, uh, firmware updates this is doing great and it's switching over uh, more readily and it's doing the job it needs to do however there are some tweaks that you have to do and then you're going to have some shortcomings that until new firmware comes out kind of like the speed of my phone i'm not going to get more than that and it's annoying what's the scenario then is this for families yes is this for bigger homes yes can you get one of these and set it up so you have more uh connection through the house and 5g yes it's going to do that is it worth it well, that depends because I know I've done reviews on some other routers like this Asus RT AX82U. People have bought this and then they're like messaging me like, hey, are you testing out these two units? Is it worth doing? Should I buy something like that? And if you already have something like this, then the question is, well, that's 179. You can just get another one of those and do the AI mesh through that. Yes, you're not going to have certain features, but I mean, you're still going to have really fast speed. I'm going to be testing out my two routers. I'll do a video on that so you can do that comparison in the fall that's coming up. And uh, and you can see the difference there because you can just go spend that much money and you're done. Now, again, you could buy this with two units and then just connect the 
other router you have in another location and now you have three routers in an AI mesh and off you go. I'll do that sequence testing too as we get moving here through the fall. My goal here is just to look at it in terms of pricing and is that really worth it? For me, if I had this, you know, if, if I was in a scenario and they didn't send me this, I don't need this. Like ASUS sent me these. I would not be buying them. And I, 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 I'm looking at it from a realistic perspective. I would not be buying these because I have the AX86U. I can buy another one and I'm off to the races. If I have the AX82U, I would be doing that. That's it. Or if I have the AX88U, you know, I'm looking at it and going, how can I utilize that? Even though it's not gigabit speed, but on the Wi-Fi as a node, it should do the trick. So uh, I, that's how I'm looking at it. If I'm moving to, you know, I have that, that, that dwelling, I'm going to leave it there. And then I'm going to go buy... Uh, another home and I'm going to move into that home and it's bigger and I want to buy just new I would buy these that that's uh, I would go that route because I'm looking at it and going hey what do I need now if I'm really setting up everything the way I want to set it up and I need more connections in the back this only comes with four connections so you have to think about that too uh, but I mean if you're upgrading all your gear and you're going to complete wi-fi then you don't need anything else now I, again, I know Wi-Fi goes down and sometimes my printer, I don't like it on Wi-Fi. You know, and it's, it always goes down the moment you need it. And I'd rather be hooked up to the network. That's it. Certain things, right? Now, you can connect a lot of units to these. You're going to have a lot of kids running around. You can set up everything in the back end. It's very intuitive. The app is very smooth to use. And of course, you're not going to be paying for all the gimmicky stuff from the GT6, where when I'm looking at it, even if I was a gamer, would I be spending that much money no. If I was an extreme gamer, you know, like my nephews, maybe I would. You know, I would spend that extra money. Um, you know, they're really loving everything they're doing. And they're like, oh, I want the fastest and the greatest. I want the colors and everything like that. And I love your setup and blah, 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 blah. But I don't really care. I'd rather have another light there, you know. So um, that that's where I'm coming up from this. So not to rant anymore on this. Um, that's how you look at it, the idea of buying routers. Again, for those of you asking, will this, uh, and I know it's going to come up, Will this make my speed faster for the internet? It's only going to make it as fast as how fast you're paying for your ISP provider. So if your ISP provider is 150 megabits per second, then you're not going to get more than 150 megabytes going through this. However, in your network, if you have a NAS, you can get up to you know whatever connection you can get, like two gigabit speed, for instance, in mine. And I can like literally transfer files like there's no tomorrow and I can do all the editing right off the NAS. And it's awesome. Other than that, it's not going to get you more speed. You have to pay for more speed. This does have a super fast 2.5 gigabit speed connection. So you can go up to 2.5 gigabytes. So if you're spending 60, 70 bucks that people have reached out to me and I go Google it and I'm like, who are you with? And they're like 60, 70 bucks for 150 megabits. And for $90, they can get a gigabit to a gigabit 0.5 speed. And I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why not? And they're like, well, I've never checked the pricing. And it's like, okay. And, and then they go and they buy the high speed router and they're off to the races or they've bought one and then they realize that they upgrade their internet and bada bing, bada boom. One last note on that. I bought these and the modem that came with Rogers, my ISP provider, they haven't upgraded those and they advertise it like you're getting super fast Wi-Fi speed. You will see a significant difference if they haven't upgraded those modem slash routers to the new models that are coming out within the next year to two years with different companies not everybody has them very few companies do from what i understand and that being said the modems if you haven't upgraded to the newest one you might not be getting top speed with your modem and that is a problem so you need to call up your isp provider and be like hey i'm not getting the top speed get the new router in and uh, modem in and then hook it up to your router and that will be something so i just want to answer some q a's there and uh that i know i'm gonna get and other than that, please stay tuned, uh, hit the subscribe button as I will release more reviews on these and show you the transfer speeds and everything that I'm getting. And I'm expecting another firmware update in the next couple months. So once I see that, I will release the videos and we should be good to go. I hope you uh, got the uh, information out of here that you need to make an informed decision. Of course, um, buy from somewhere you can return it and make sure it's worth it for you after you do your testing. Because if it doesn't work for you and your situation, well then you have the opportunity to take it back and go try something else because that's how it goes.